got to remember to do this. Trips, voyage. I want to check out the new level before I forget. I keep talking to Steve about this all the time. Every time it comes up, I'm like, oh yeah, I got to play that. I got to play that. I got to play the new level. I played the first level. It was fantastic. It was great. Steve's a big fan of it too. Like he thinks it's just a, just as good as what it's inspired by. Uh, this actually looks and feels a little better than I remember already. Or maybe just my mind's playing tricks on me. Need more bells. All right. Okay, so I forget anything. How to forget? How to get to levels? I got plenty of bells. So, let's see. Quit, leave game. There we go. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Oh, hey, Pixel, how you doing? Oh, you, yeah, you guys had a big jam to do music for this. Did a lot of your music, I mean, you were like always like a clear cut, like ama amazing, like leader as far as like orchestral, beautiful music like this goes. So I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of your music ended up in the game after the jam. And I remember when this first came out. Oh, this is nice, too, because I played this back when it first came out, and it didn't have the uh, the music jam music in it yet. Okay, this ain't right. I can't remember how to get to anywhere. Is there a boat down there that I can get on? No. Nope. There's the shortcut over here that I opened up. I remember that. Whoa. No, oh, it's an alder track. Well, shit. That just shows how good you are. Set sail. There we go. This is what I was looking for. Set sail. Ooh. I remember this. Maybe it was in there. Uh, well, I mean, you know, it's pretty obviously like a Mario-style platformer, you know, but this was, uh, created by, you know, fully in dreams, you know, original character, you know, and they're just making their own taking the gold standard of platformers and making it as best as they can. What's this trophy? Let's just look real quick. Hopefully I can get back out of here. Yeah, it's really good, man. I've only played the first level, and there's been a new a, a new second level out for a while. Oh, okay, this is just where I just came from. Uh, set sail. There we go. Yeah, I'm trying to make sh make sure I remember to get it today. There, there is some seriously great stuff on here, uh, Cisco man. Like if you like shmups or anything, like I don't know if you like the old arcade like shoot 'em up style games, like uh, Gradius or I'm trying to think of like recognizable ones. Gradius is the most recognizable one I can think of the name of. Those back in the day kind of arcade shooters, you know, where you're flying as a little spaceship. Fine Hander on PS1, that was another cool one. I think the new one is like an ice world over here. No, no, the, the ones where you're like a little spaceship, you know what I mean? You know, and they're usually either top down or side scrolling. And you just like fight like waves of like enemy ships coming. Yeah, yeah, Galaga. Yeah, like the whole thing that came from like the Galaga genre. higher do I get? Is it this new thing over here? It's not this, is it? I can't open this yet. Oh, okay. I do have enough to open this. I don't know if this is the new level or not. Oh, yeah, it is the new level. I thought it wasn't the new level because it was black. Yeah. But yeah, if you like those kind of games, man, like, there are some incredible ones on Dreams, man. There's, uh... Apollo Lamaire's game. Oh god, I can't remember it. I can't remember the name of it now, now that I'm trying to like co-sign all of them. And then there's Starfighter Gemini 2. You know. Starfighter Gemini 1 and 2. 2 is coming pretty soon. And then there's a few others. But like the uh the shmups on here, they're like 
the best shmups in like years you know like ever since like they stopped making really good ones like a few years ago like so it's just cool to see like a genre like so well represented on dreams hi there i'm meredith penguin you can call me mayor all right mayor there's been this big nasty monster who's been trying to gobble up us penguins recently he's a real bully he's nested right on top of that tower just slithering under the snow shoo I guess every beast needs a castle, huh? Yeah. Everybody needs a castle. I could use a castle. Just a small one. A small one, you know? In a nice, high spot. Maybe you could climb up there and pummel him. I mean, you look the type. Do be careful, though. Alright, look how cool this character looks. Alright. These things are cool, too. Slimy slithering. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. new little mechanic, I think. I don't remember those little wind gust things before. Let me get straight here. There we go. Alright, I might have forgotten some of my mechanics here. That was cool. Hey, right, check it out, the music kicking up. Ah, circle. I automatically want to press, press square to attack in pretty much any game. Okay, what do I do with the snowball? Uh, hmm. Oh, I can throw it. This is another track from you. Nice. I was kind of hoping it was. Well, I'm glad you got in on this, man. jump a little bit higher. Okay. Okay, now where am I going here? I think I went the wrong way. Who cares? There is no wrong way, really. Aw, oh, damn it. Hey, there's a big rubber ducky up there with sunglasses on. There's an anchor. I gotta get some anchors. Uh, it's cool, I don't spend my anchors. Like, I unlocked this level, but I didn't, like, spend the anchors. I just had the amount of anchors that it, that it needed me to have collected. So that's pretty cool. You haven't seen it yet? Oh yeah, you were just saying that. Hey, All-Star, how you doing? Yeah, it does fit really well, man. It's perfect, too. Like, you got that, just enough of that little Christmassy sound in it. A little jingle. But not, not derivative. And not, it's easy on the ears. You know? Come on, I want to hit you guys with snowballs. Big fan of your stuff. There's a new trips jam soon. A new one? Did that did that one actually happen then? Because I might not have been around at the time. But yeah. Well, jam or otherwise, man, like... Get in on it, you know what I mean? If this guy likes your stuff like that. But you already are in on it. Okay, how the hell do I do this? <laughs> yum, yum, dessert. Dessert gives bleep brain freeze. <laughs> Much obliged. Yeah, dessert does give bleep brain brain <laughs> This soundtrack is from it. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah, Pic Pixel's a perfect fit for this, huh? I didn't realize until he came in and told me. Hey, I got my life back. Can I run up this way? Ah. Uh, Yeah, this guy should know, though, like, UFO lace. Like, sometimes I wonder, like, how things come about, you know, how they're made, and... But... 
media molecule like employees and designers like some of the best i know like that i personally know like they're huge big big fans of this like steve steve was saying yesterday that he thinks this is just that this is like better than any platformer on sony's platforms you know that the only thing better is maybe mario odyssey itself you know like that's how good this guy's good a job this guy's done you know so they they should definitely be proud of themselves and sometimes when you're that good you don't you don't you don't necessarily need people to tell you that you're good but hey it doesn't hurt you know But we were both talking, I was like, yeah, I, I still gotta play that second level. I gotta play it. Snowball, snowball, where is it? Come on. How do I get a snowball up here? Uh, oh, here it is. Idiot. Nice. It was pretty generous. I was a little off angle there, but it was generous enough to give it to me. I need my balloon hat so I can get over there. Here we go. Ah! Whoa. Hey, I, got, I don't know if I was supposed to get over there. Yeah. Nice. Okay, how do I do the stomp? I forget. Oh crap. Snowball. Snowball. Come on, snowball. Nope. Ah, oh, I missed. Come on, snowball. Ooh. There you go. There we go. Ah, crap, I didn't... Okay, I gotta stomp on his eye. What was the button? R1. No! Damn it. Hey, what the hell? It's not working now. Alright. Nope. Overshot it. Come on. Don't hit me. There we go. Nice, got him. That wasn't so bad. You only got to hit him one time. What? There's another one. Is it just gonna keep respawning? Yeah, it's just respawning. Okay, so what the hell am I doing here? What's with this lighthouse? I'm wondering if I gotta make him fall on on these ice cracks or something. Let's see. We'll see. No big deal to try. Ah! Come on! I could be overthinking this. There we go. Nice. Okay, I'm not overthinking it. Sometimes it's okay. Think think it over. Okay, what about... Is there another one? What about this one here? Come on. I think that's my first anchor in this level. Yeah, hey, rubber ducky. Okay. Okay, I gotta get the hell out of here. Now. Ah, uh, where's the snowballs down here? Come on. I'm gonna die. Whoa. Come on, we got one chance. Yeah, so keep your distance from him, and he won't keep doing that, that swat, and then you can hit him in the eye. 
It's only when you're like in, I don't know, probably like six feet from him or something, then he'll start doing the SWAT over and over again. Wait, we're running on ice to ice skate. Hmm. Okay. Oh! Nice. Oh, this is awesome. Aw, oh, come on. Give me the bells. Okay, what's over this way? The ice skating is awesome. I don't know if that's even in uh, Mario or not. I have no idea. Because I haven't played Mario in so long. Unfortunately, you know, like I'd love to. Head of the ring. Okay. Nope. Get out of here. Yeah, nice to see. You. Look at Arnold Schwarzenegger over here. Frank Frods. That's the Mr. Freeze. Frank Freeze. Here we go. The big Frank. Yeah, maybe. I've always been somebody, though, like, you know, entire genres wouldn't, entire genres wouldn't exist if it wasn't for, like, imitation. And it's the, high, the sincerest form of flattery, really, you know? Maybe not always sincere, depending on the motivation behind it, you know? Sometimes it's just cash grab, profit stuff, you know? But this person's doing this out of passion, you know? Like, that is the highest form of flattery. And whole genres wouldn't exist if it wasn't for that kind of stuff. Like the fighting game genre. Like imagine if nobody, nobody had like copied Street Fighter 2, you know, for fear of being called a clone, you know. And that's the way it was. It still is kind of like that a lot, you know, like Doom clone. Like we wouldn't have the shooter genre if, if like the, the word Doom clone had like discouraged other people from like making their own version of something. I don't know, we've already got 3D platformers, but sometimes it's fine to get, like, really close close to a certain style. Like, one of my favorite genres is uh, Zelda-likes. And Metroidvanias, too. Like, it, And really, Metroidvania is just Metroid when you break it down. You know, and Vania just added some some RPG systems and showed that it could be, could be done by other games, you know? But I'm fine with the Metroidvania portmanteau, you know, but... For a long time, like, most of the 90s, like, people just called anything that was like Zelda a Zelda clone. And then the few Zelda-like games that there were, like Alundra and Legend of Oasis and all that, a lot of those were, like, underappreciated, you know? And it's only in, like, recent years, I think, people are starting to realize that there really is, like, a specific old-school 2D Zelda formula that's 100% a sub -genre with a lot of great games in it, a ton of great games. And some of them like you, extremely close, extremely close to the formula. To great effect. But honestly, right now, <laughs> this is like all the, all the 3D platform I need. I remember the last time I played this, I was like, this is like something I can come back to on Dreams to like play. And the more people find out about it, they'll be like, this is just a legit great platformer, 3D platformer that I like playing, you know? And the way to play it is to go on to Dreams and play it. Yeah, Trips Voyage, yeah. And this new level, I think this new level came out like a month or two ago or something. So there's probably another one on the way, probably like halfway done already, who knows. Probably the hard part was really just, I mean, making these levels isn't easy by any means, you know, but the hard part was probably all this stuff, you know, making making everything work. And once he got everything working, like once he got that down, he was like, oh my God, hallelujah, full steam ahead, you know what I mean? Then you can start doing your your assets, you know, your your all these ideas that you've been growing with, your platformer style, everything, you know. But make it once you get all this stuff working, it's like perfect foundation. And then there's nothing holding you back. You've made what you want to make. Then at that point, you're just making le a level editor, you know, of your own.
How you doing today, foo? Hey, Detalia. Didn't see you there. Oncoming fist, man. Man, I gotta step it up in Fortnite, man. <laughs> we were doing all right there at the end. I was close. But I keep getting thrown for a loop by some of the, the things that I'm not used to yet. But yeah, I was trying out Fortnite yesterday and today. I actually had a lot of fun with it. Surprisingly. Dude, working two jobs now? Shit, man. I know you were always working, working like crazy. Damn it, I threw the... There has to be a closer snow pile in there. I don't know what that purple thing is over there, but I gotta get that too. Yeah, I always knew you for like Subway, man. Like, I remember when I first got to know you and stuff too. Like, anytime Subway came up, I was like, I gotta go and get some Subway. <laughs> Do my part to like enhance the economy for food, you know? Somewhere far away, wherever he is. But you're a hard working dude, man. But yeah, I haven't seen you creating as much, or around as much. I'm sure that's why. Hey, check out. Got another UFO. Nom nom. Blip likes this delicious cold treat. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know where you live, but I know what I know how that is, man. Like, here in Colorado, like, the rent and everything is crazy. Totally crazy. Like, you know, the, the bare minimum now is like 1500 And like 10 years ago, maybe 15 years ago or something, when I, when I was really in my prime, you know, it was like 500 you know, for like a two-bedroom place. And if you were ever down and out, like, it was like, you'd be like, oh, I'll just go to, I'll just go to a motel, like a weekly rate motel, like $125 a week or something, you know? And that was like, now it's like $125 a day, you know? And the motels are 10 times worse. You know, they're all, every single one of them is all like bed bugs and crackheads and pro I better shut up, because this is like a nice game. And this might end up being my playthrough, and I'm just sitting here talking about prostitutes and crackheads down on Colfax, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and sleazy motels. But hey, it's real. You know, that's Colorado nowadays. Hey, check it out. Little penguin. 170 a gallon. Hold on, let me read a little bit of that. Groceries paid every two weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I feel you, food. Well, just keep trying to get by. Marshall said he's making a new game about living prices. Hmm, interesting. Hi there, sir. I've got a little pro tip for you. If a Plunko throws a punch at you, you can just jump in place to avoid it. Also, try diving into those meanies. That should pack as much of a wallop as your tail. Hmm. How do I know this? I may not look it, but I was the Penguin Fight Club champ back in the day. Don't talk about Fight Club. Penguin Fight Club. Don't talk about it. Hmm? You don't believe me? I think you're just being jealous, sir. There we go. Oh, okay. Hey, cool, it's like the red coins from Yoshi's Island. Come on, come on, come on. What? Oh yeah, I gotta ice skate. How do I do that again? Hey, I can't ice skate over here. How was I ice skating earlier? Oh, okay, there we go. I just gotta get a running start. There we go. What? Lies. Okay, let's try that again. I'm just trying to concentrate on this. Yeah, that sounds pretty promising though, Marshall. I gotta check out your thing thing stuff too. I had it in my play later for a while. I remember you sent it to me. I really wish like I could see further back into my stuff that people had sent to me. Because sometimes it takes me a while to get to stuff. And then my stuff cycles out and goes so far back that I can't see it anymore. And I'd be like, what was that thing? What was that thing? I gotta start writing stuff down. And then we have the play later thing. And some, but sometimes it's just like assets or like elements that I want to check out. 
and then those don't go into my dream play later thing. There we go. I think I got it. Nice. Got an anchor. This is fun, man. Like, I can just tune out, like, Zen. Like, that's the sign of a good 3D platform, where you can, like, Zen out on it. Golden anchor. See how slick that UI is? Like, the nice color. And that, like, rainbow effect color on the dialogue box there. Like, perfectly blends with all this. Look at that. A little bit of banding in the sky. And it makes it look nice. You know, it looks like Aurora Borealis. Alright, where haven't I been? I haven't gone anywhere near that castle up there. Or whatever that is up there. How do I get to that? See if I can balloon jump up there with this. No, I want to go back the other way. Ah. Come on. Ah. Damn it, don't hit me over here. I kind of want to get that bell out there. What the hell is going on here, bro? How do I use this thing? I can't double jump. There's something I'm missing here. All right, let's go over here and like practice with the, the balloon head real quick. I don't think I've been down there. Oh yeah, I did go down there. does other than make it higher. It's, I can't double jump when I do it. Okay. Pop. Nope. That's no good. Okay, let's just go up this way. See where life takes us. Probably leads to a to an anchor though. Whoa. Alright, I didn't do anything. It doesn't disable it. Okay, so you always gotta worry about that when you're near it. Come on. This feels so good guys, I'm telling you. I don't even remember it feeling quite this good like the first time I played it. Probably did some small refinements, or maybe not. Maybe it's just placebo effect, you know? Sometimes you think like, oh, this feels better, and it's 100% the same. But like, it really does feel spot on. Ah, oh, no! Oh, that was a mess. I like that skull coming up there. I think that's just the UI icon, too. Maybe. It might be painted. There we go. Anchor. Hell yeah. I'm actually not sure what that anchor coin does. Uh, hey, there's bells and bushes. There we go. Come on, come on, man. Hey, I got the anchor coin. So I must just need all the anchor coins in this area. 
Hey, you can break these crystals. I'm gonna go break these ones down here now. See what comes out of them. Just bells. I think the bells like respawn every time you come in. So I'm probably not missing out on anything by missing some bells. Every time you come into a level, I mean. Uh, I'll head up that way later after I do this side. This is some platformer ass stuff, man. It feel it, it's because it feels good. Like the way I was able to turn my back to those things and like know they were gonna time right and that I could respond quick enough to move away from them. Like that's the, the little stuff, the little stuff, you know? That makes you get carefree, carefree when they're playing. Man, I took one hit on, on the way. No! What in God's name are you doing? Eh, whatever. Can I climb on that over there? No. Okay, where's the snowballs, though? Oh, they're right here. I think I've got three now. So that's fun. Just like, okay, now I can fall down here, dive forward, land on a bounce pad, collect my anchor in a cool way. It's like that thing where, you know, when you beat a boss in Castlevania, and Castlevania is not quite as smooth a game, but I mean like old school Castlevania, where you like jump up and try to catch that orb thing that drops after you beat a boss. You know, intercept it in the air before it lands on the ground. And there's like no, you don't have to do that. Like if you just get it on the ground, like it's, it, it gives you absolutely nothing. It just feels cool to do it that way. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I think all the bells have come back. Uh, which... I'm just gonna have a look. Okay, yeah. Uh... Yep, I've gotten everything over that way. So now I can finally go down this way. There we go. Mm. I think I should have gotten up there. Ah, oh, crap. I wasn't looking. Let's see, no big deal. Three stars. Don't know what I need these stars for. There must be three stars around that I need. These things are shaped like stars. No. Stop. What about over there? Yeah, now, now the use of the, the bubble head starting to feel a little more sound. Oh, come on. That's good there. You can pop it and, like, just get another one right away. Ah! Idiots. Like, I hate I hate that in platformers. Like, wait, waiting for, like, a power-up to, power to, like, respawn and stuff. How you doing, Duplex? What's going on, man? Ah, why'd I do that? I am going to try and take that shortcut, though, because I don't want to deal with it. There we go. There we go. There we go. That's what I'm trying to do here. Okay, now. Uh, yeah, probably. I can probably check it out after that. After this. Tough act to follow, though, I mean. But you're the only one that probably can follow it right now. Ah. Uh, oh, okay, they're spinning around. No wonder I can't nail them. 
This is a bit, a wee bit tricky here. Damn it! Yeah, I can't dive into it. Okay. Alright, let's just go the normal way. Try not to get fancy. Ah, yes! There's a star button. Okay, I don't need to do anything fancy to it. Uh, star, star, there's one star button. There's another star button, and the other one must be over there. So how do I get up to that one? Okay, let's get this bubble thing here. Balloon, I mean. It was nice, because I listened to that cool song earlier with the balloon visual. Ah, oh, I thought that was going to work. I don't know why. Come on. There we go. Nice. See, that felt good. Didn't even touch the ground. No! Ah, oh, it was close! Now I want to go that way. I don't think that's the way to do it, but it was close. Ah, idiots. That's the same thing I was doing in Fall Guys yesterday. Hitting the touch pad when I was trying to hit the dive. Ah, oh, come on, man. Let's go. Jump. By the skin of my teeth. I wish I had a snowball to deal with that guy, but I don't. Ah, whatever. The stars are activated. It doesn't look like you can get anything other than uh, bells from getting up there. They could put something up there. Maybe a rubber ducky. But it's a, maybe a little too tricky. Not necessarily too tricky to pull off, but like it, it takes a while to get over there. Like from over here, over to here, up to there, over to there, and then there, and then to fall and fail. And then you, then you get annoyed, you know? Sometimes making stuff too annoying, even if it seems like the right spot is like not the good good choice. Okay, so now getting up to stop. How do I get back up there? Yeah, whatever. Uh, go up this way. Uh, this way. Here we go. Man. Get out of here. Nope. Mind your own business. Alright. Uh, is this the checkpoint? I might have learned that in the first level, but it's been a while. Snowball. So where's the snowball around here? Let's see what they got to say. Hey, mister. You sure look like a treasure hunter. I can tell by the twitch of your whiskers. If you're after an anchor, I heard someone say that the fortress has a secret room with one in it, and I'm not going to lug myself over there. Let me know if you find it, fellow treasure hunter. All right. Uh, but first, I need a snowball.
Uh, hey, what's up, Andy? Yeah, yeah, I agree. I know what you mean. It's hard to keep things cohesive, especially if you're really trying to push detail up, like, in one spot, and it's like, you have to, like, really sacrifice it somewhere else because of that. Wait. Whew. But now what? Ah. Whatever. I activated it. Hey, check it out. It's a shortcut now. And it felt like perfectly in time with that music. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Feels like finding the Super Mario World secret. Check it out. I don't think I can take the snowball up here, though. On the star. I think I'll drop it as soon as I get on the star. But let's see. Nah, I can't ride. Ride. Yeah, I can't. Okay, I still don't know where the snowballs are up here. So maybe I gotta pull them up here. But yeah, that's honestly important, like, however, like, whatever level of fidelity you choose, like, if you can keep it consistent, keep it consistent, like, even if the first time you see it, you'd be like, oh, this, this looks a little rough, a little rough, but as long as it's consistent, it starts to win you over, and you just start to, like, immerse yourself in it, and stop forgetting any of the flaws that you're seeing, not necessarily this, like, I don't see any flaws in this, but in, in general, in some dreams. Like, you just start to lose sight of those flaws. And as long as you're not seeing a constant, like, jarring effect of differing quality levels between, like, assets or moments of design or animation and stuff, as long as it's all consistent, it never takes you out of it. and never reminds you that anything is maybe not quite as good as it could be or, you know, you know what I'm saying. But yeah, cohesion and consistency, man. Like, it really is important. It's a good, good thing you pointed out there. Golden Anchor. Hell yeah. 15. I should be pretty stocked up for when the next levels come along, too. Okay, so now we're heading up to the castle. Castle time, boys. Finally. I think I got all the anchors down there. I can't be totally certain. But I'm ready for the castle. Oh, no. Is it going to start smashing this stuff? Yeah, he is. this stuff. I was gonna say, what's the point of me uh, having him smash stuff? Come on. Don't get knocked off. Oh, now he got knocked off. I might as well have him break this while I'm over here. Ah, no, not me. I'm trying to skirt him around for the time. Yeah, see, now, now I don't have enough time. Ah, oh, you punk. Better get over here. Get over here. Ah! Come on. Nope. Nope. It is a tad. It'd be nice if I could, like, control, like, when those things appear, like, maybe. Maybe based on my movement. No, ah, oh, damn it! You know, like maybe as I walk across here, there's some switch I step on that activates these. But that might start overcomplicating it. Go over here. Ah, oh, close. I don't know, can I? Nope. 
Let me see. I don't think so. I haven't been able to do anything to the blowers. I haven't been able to interact with them in any way. Yeah, but it's just trying to keep keep him in place, you know, so that he gets past these blowers in time, see? And then I gotta, like, hang out with him, like, all up close and around him and avoid these blowers myself. Come on, get in here. Get in. Get in here. Come on, man. Ah! All right, I might as well die again. They should put a little health thing back there, too. I don't mind jumping off to die. Like, it's gamer habits to just jump off and die. You might as well put, like, a little health health thing right here or something, you know? Come on, come on. Nope. Alright, come on. Get over here. I guess it's meant, it, it's meant to be tricky, though, you know what I mean? Like, it's obviously to get something, something good out of that gold block there. Ah, oh, you... What? It wouldn't be so bad, like, if I wasn't getting affected by the wind blowers, too. Okay, come on. Nope. Alright, come on. I want this. I want this gold... gold bricks over here. Whatever's in here. It's gonna happen. can't show me some big gold blocks and then expect me to knock it. Nope. Not enough time. You'd think he would, like, not push, like, Fully all the way, like based on the amount of time that he's getting pushed. Okay, come on. Get over here. Get in here. Come on. Before you get pushed off. Yes. Phew. Worth it. I'm gonna be glad I got that. You needed... I forget how many you needed to open this one. Seven? Or eleven? I think I had eleven. Might have needed seven to open this... this world. But if they add world three, like, I'll... I don't know, twenty or something. Whoa! Oh, no. Ah, oh, crap. What do you think you're doing? Get up here. <laughs> I want to punch him now. I don't know if he's supposed to come up here or if he does. Come on. Ah. Uh, come on. Ah. Uh, I want to try and hit him. I don't think it's going to let me, but I want to try. Nope. Come on. There we go. Got him. Knocked him out at least. Uh, but where do I want to go? I'll get the rubber duck here. Ah! I need a balloon. Here we go. Balloon. I don't know where he went. Come on. I almost got all of those. I better grab this bullet and head again to get over here. That was pretty creative. Ah, oh, crap. Damn, you're getting all Bowser's castle up here. What the hell? Okay. I don't care about you. I don't need to worry about you. Go. Nice. Yeah, balloon hype. Whoa. Ah. 
Checkpoint. Yes. Sebastian's Tower. Ah, huh. uh, look, there's a thing over there. Whatever, I'll try and get it on the way back down. Uh oh, there's a boss. Yeah, there was a UFO down there. I'm gonna get that UFO. Ah, oh, crap. What's this little orange flea doing slinking onto my tower? Ah, uh, I'll bet you're after my shiny little anchor. That's too bad, Rodent. Lucky for me, though, I was just thinking. My tummy's getting quite rumbly tumbly. Rumbly tumbly. Those feathery floppy penguins just weren't doing it for me. Let's see how tenderized the feline fares. Nice alliteration there. It's good with all the S's here we're doing. Alright, let's go. I have no idea what I'm doing here. Can I catch snowballs? Damn it, I shouldn't have got that. Yes, punched him right in the eye. Yeah. Cats probably do eat snakes if they're big enough. You see, like, an anacondas eat, like, entire alligators. Not all the time, but it's not like a news story about one. And I don't see it. It's not like I get to see it in person or anything. I don't even know if I would want to watch it. It's kind of rad, it's kind of gnarly. But I feel like this is one, this is taking too long. Two, this is messed up. This is well done. Like it doesn't nothing feels frustrating, but it's engaging, you know? Uh oh. Uh oh. Shouldn't have gotten that flower. Whoa, oh no. Nope. Oh, so close. Yes, I got some health back. No, get up! Don't make me re- Nah, damn it, I gotta redo it. I probably can't survive. It had to be this dangerous part, too. That's alright, I'm just running around. I'm avoiding these things. Not worried about you. Not worried about you. Here we go. Gotcha. Okay, now keep your cool. Keep your cool, get it? Keep your cool. Yes, knocked him right out. Hit you in the eye. Third eye, boom, bap, make me get fly. Nice, I got the anchor. I want to get that UFO over there, though. I don't know if I got all the anchors in here. No, there's still one there on that tower. I couldn't figure out. I see the, the bendy pole thing, but I'm not sure how to get off of that. Oh, wait, maybe if I do it before I hit the end with the star. Wow, he really did it. I knew he'd be able to. That slithery coward wasn't standing a chance. See, these penguins are my bros now. Alright, uh... Where does this one go? All the way back down? Hey, that one goes all the way back down. But I want to get to this UFO over here. So I'm gonna do that. Ah! That didn't work out the way I wanted it to. Nope. Whoa. Too many, too many, too many. Ah, I press square to jump. Ah, I press square to attack, I mean, not to jump. Okay, let's try that again without so much slop. Ah, oh, this music's great, man. Just the right amount of mystery to it. It's got that vanilla dome thing in it, you know? But with the ice, ice things and the jingle. Jingle or Kringle, Chris Kringle, I don't know. Alright, come on. Whoa. Ah, don't! Check it out. I can get up here. Get up here. Nope. This is dicey now. Nope. Scary. Too scary. 
Here we go. Oh. What the fuck? I accidentally dropped the UFO word, you know? Nope. Nope. Come on. Crap. Ah! Yeah, I thought it was going to work. I'm going to have to jump and wait until I see the green. There it is. There's the green. Okay, it's on a pulse. There we go. Num num. Thank you for the ice cream, furry bean. Blop will leave now. Blip, blop, and bleep, thank you. Selfless seafaring feline. We will commence anchor generation. Yes, anchor generation. Hell yeah. See, I'm glad I went and did that now. You get an anchor for doing all three of those. Uh, I was just trying to figure out which way was the shortest way back up. Where did they generate the anchor? I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Somewhere down here. Good one, Frank. You're ice cold with these. Alright. Okay, anchor generation. Where's my anchor, bro? Blip, blop, and bleep. Bro, where are blip, blop, and bleep at? <laughs> it's funny because I dropped a bleep when I got the last blip, blop, and bleep. Uh, whatever, let's just go down here. There it is, it's below the tree down here. Yeah, blip, blop, and bleep. Like, my whole stream would be blip, blop, and bleep if it had to be. Sensor for TV. Alright. And I think I might... Ah, oh, damn it, come on! Alright. Maybe if I jump off of this star before, before I get to the end. There we go. Yes! It worked. Ah! Oh. Took too long. I think I need the balloon hat to finish it all the way up to the end there. I think there was one rubber duck. Is that the rub? No, that's a bell. Almost. Yes, there we go. Okay. What do I got in this level? Collectibles. Uh, Tropic Trove, Glassy Glacier. So there's still three anchors I didn't get in the first level. And three that I haven't gotten in this level. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, exactly, Frank. Fall Grass Crown. Well, I got a lot of them anyway. I'll have to come back and get more. I'm sure as they add more levels too, like every anchor is going to count, you know, or there'll be like some like awesome bonus level for people, for like longtime fans too that see this, that play this through to completion, like as it comes out over the years, you know, there'll be like some special bonus Star World or something, you know, something like that. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Oh well. Let's head back to the world map. I'm just gonna have a look around the world map real quick, make sure there's nothing, nothing I didn't see down there. I like this, getting on your ship and sailing on out of here. It's cool. Yeah, that new level's awesome, man. The first level was pretty fun too. It was nice and vertical. You know, a lot of ins and outs. Finding the sequence was pretty fun, but I really like that level. I think I really like that one. There was a couple frustrating spots, like that thing with the... But it was worth it, you know? It was worth, like, dealing with. You know, the feeling of dealing with it to try and get an extra anchor. Like, it, it didn't feel like I was wasting my time, even though it was tricky. 
And really, like, that kind of frustration is fine. It's just only only when you're on stream, it's like, oh, come on, i got to get past this, i got to get past this. Otherwise, as a player, like, on your own time, there's, there's not much reason that things can't be, take you a little time sometimes. But then every player is different. You know, some people will be like, I have, I have like no patience patience for anything. I think I've got this in one of my collections already. I don't know, I'll put it here anyway, in case I don't. It might be in the last collection. <laughs>